Welcome to this week's Legislative Update. I'm Jim Baumgart, co-host, along with Nanette uh, Bullabush from uh, Elkhart Lake. Yes. Out, out in the farm country out there. Yeah, yes. It's great to be in Sheboygan, the city. And we have uh, an interesting program called Hunting for Heroes. And uh, we have uh, two of the heroes with us that qualified to be considered heroes for a, uh, a Wyoming hunt. And uh, we'd like to let uh, the public know that it's available to other veterans who are uh, disabled, and we're gonna get into that. And with us we have Gerald Debert from Howard's Grove and David Ornke of Howard's Grove, both uh, Vietnam Year veterans, are you? Yes, yes. So you saved us, uh, uh, served over there in uh, the kind of weather that is warm year round where we have a little <laughs> different temperatures a here in Wisconsin. A bit. Yeah, well, thank you very much. and. Uh, uh, we're going to find out more yeah. about Hunting with Heroes. So thank you. It's just great to be here, Jerry and David. It's great to have you thank here. You. I am surrounded by heroes. All three of you are veterans, including Jim. Uh, first, I'm going to ask you to tell us about your service, what, what was your service, um, and when did you serve, and then I want to ask about Hunting with Heroes. I'm a Navy veteran. I was a Navy corpsman assigned to various Naval and Marine Corps units, and I was served from 66 to 70, and I was in Vietnam 69 and parts of 70. Oh my gosh, and you, you David? I was in the Army. I served from 70 to 73. I was in Vietnam for a little over a year. Um, I was with an a engineering company. We built roads and several times, or probably once a month, I hauled supplies up to fire bases on the Cam Cambodian border. Um, got back, I finished my service down at Fort Bliss, Texas. Well, thank you. Thank you both for your service. I'm sure thank there you. are lots of stories there just without even getting into hunting. But we're here to talk about hunting. So tell us, what is Hunting with Heroes? Hunting with Heroes is a organization. Um, the part we were involved in is based in Wyoming. Um, they have two different locations and two different groups of hunters came out. Um, we were based out of um, Riverton, Wyoming, and there was 12 disabled hunters with us. The other group was out of a small town called Lysite, and they had another 12. Of, they had the they 12 take also. a maximum yeah. of 12 in each yeah. chapter. So this was an all expense paid trip, except for transportation, as Correct. I understand it. Correct. And for how long was it, and when was it? Well, the hunt is, is basically a, a two-day affair, um, opening weekend of the, of the season. We got there on Thursday. Friday, they met us for breakfast, took us out to a range, shot our rifles, and then took us to, and assigned us guides and uh, lodging and fed us constantly. <laughs> <laughs> it made you feel like heroes. Well, um, they went above and beyond. Mm. Um, it, it was embarrassing the attention they put on us. And, and um, they gave you this quilt. Here's an IQ. Yes, we have a, so this is the time for That someone made from Wyoming. You and, see and the cowboy boot? You got to stay? Yes. This is it was my guide's 12-year-old daughter that made that. Really? Is that right? That's and I was true. walking up, they had a whole bunch of quilts on tables, and each veteran went up to pick up a quilt. Amazing. And she said, come over here, I got a quilt for you. Ooh. So she had to be her quilt that she had made. That, right. and that quilt had won first place in the county fair and the state fair. And hopefully we'll have that on, on uh, the screen uh, after a while, right. because I think we have a picture of that. And on the back, there's lots of word, including thank you for your service, for your valor, Isn't that great? for your courage. This that had to take, pretty awesome. Yeah, that had to take a lot of time because yes. my wife does Beautiful. quilts for their uh, this church, is, and uh, those things take time to put together. Yes, they do. This so, is a separate organization, separate from the Hunting with Heroes, called Quilts of Valor, and they're a national oh, they are. group yeah. of people who make quilts for I think I read they've made over 60,000 quilts already. Is that right? A national organization right, for veterans. They're, they're all handmade, they're all different, they're all unique. Um, 
So the the, the Wyoming group uh, uh, Heroes Hunting uh, with Heroes uh, brought together uh, the community. They brought together the uh, people that made uh, the uh, quilts and uh, the guide services and everything to make this all work. These were all volunteers. Um, nobody's double your salary. <laughs> I've been on some of those shifts, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and I, I, as I understand it, no disability is too great for them. They will accommodate you. They will accommodate whatever your disability is. We've, we, one of the hunters was legally blind. He was able to see through his scope on a rifle, um, but he had trouble getting around. Um, they had two individuals. One was a double amputee from Iraq or Afghanistan, and they provided him with a tracked wheelchair, got him around, he got his antelope. Hmm. A other gentleman who had a leg amputated the week before the hunt. Mm -hmm. He had the, still been in a lot of pain, but they provided him with a tracked chair, and he also shot an antelope. Um, I think there was 24 hunters total between the two places, and they went 24 hunters came home with an antelope. Yeah, right. Wow. Now the um, uh, the fact that they had to uh, apply, which means they had to meet some standard and being able to show that they're 50 percent disabled. You get that from uh, the Veterans Administration. Yeah, you'll need to take a awards letter. It's what it's called from the veterans that um, tells them what percentage you're disabled. Mm -hmm. And they have to be a minimum of fifty percent disabled. Yeah. Well, and that's, and that's father was a World War II veteran, and a couple of years ago he uh, was provided a, a trip out to an the honor flight. Honor flight. It was the Ozaki Stars and Stripes mm -hmm. yeah. group. Mm -hmm. it was so a, there's some very nice yeah. things that uh, yeah. take place. I I know the uh, uh, the uh, Muskies uh, uh, fishing group uh, takes a group of about a dozen uh, veterans out every every fall to fish muskies. So there are other things going on, but uh, people that uh, want an experience hunting antelope or elk uh, can uh, look at this. Matter of fact, um, my guess is that if they have any interest, they should give you a call. Absolutely. Well, I'm more than, more than happy to, to set up a hunt. I have, I have no desire to go on another hunt. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was great. I'd love to do it, but I think if we did That's it ourselves, right. um, it'd be cutting somebody else out. Yeah. And, and what is it like to hunt in Wyoming as opposed to, say, Wisconsin? They, they don't have trees out there. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> I lived there for three years. I remember the lack of trees and the terrain, but you tell me, what did you like about it? It's, it's wide open. Um, you get to see lots of animals. Um, you get to do uh, make lots of stocks and decide some of them some of them are successful and a lot of them aren't. Mm -hmm. So it's just right. a, a different, completely different hunting than Wisconsin. Yeah. I remember the sky feels closer, something. This, you see many more stars and it's just, uh, I mean, it's the West, it's the old West. We've got the cowboy boot. That's you can right. just, you can see forever. Why don't we, uh, before I forget, uh, um, Gerald, why don't you give your telephone number, and that'll show up on the screen after a while. For so that people want to apply, because that's the whole reason you're here, right? Yeah, you want to promote the program because they've do. asked you to do that, and you volunteer. Absolutely, yeah. another volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm at I'm at nine two zero five six five four seven seven three. And if somebody has questions, they can call you. And Absolutely, Dave. You My phone number is area code nine two zero nine one eight two five one three. And the, how much does this cost, right? The, the hunt itself was completely free. Um, mm. uh, room and boards were provided. Um, a guide was provided, a volunteer guide. Um, meat processing was provided. Um, having the head mounted was provided. The only thing it cost us was transportation from Wisconsin to Wyoming. Did you have your meat uh, shipped back or did you drive? Was it well, we fortunate enough went back two weeks later on a separate hunt, okay. um, not associated with this, and we picked up the meat then and brought it back. So you uh, you went out for a mule deer or a white-tailed deer? We did. And the accommodations, it wasn't a tent and a sleeping bag, I oh, guess. Oh, <laughs> by all means. A, a company called Stallion Oil Supply donated trailers um, that they 
put out in the oil fields more than comfortable trailers. And um, the, the figure I heard was it cost the stallion $30,000 to provide these trailers. Yeah. So, wow. That's great. And they'd, they've been doing this now every year for a number of years? Providing the, the, the that I'm aware of, it, it's about it's about five years. Is I that mean, right? It might be it might be four. But right. It's it's not that old. Yeah. So. No, you said they they had uh, some uh, events for you. You came out there on a Thursday, and then you sighted in your rifles on Friday. But Friday evening and Saturday evening, you had some gatherings. Friday Friday evening, we met um, with. They introduced our guides to us. Um, they introduced all the hunters to everybody. There was, there was a couple hundred people at yeah. that event and fed us really well. Um, Saturday night, they held a, another banquet and there must have been 300 people at mm -hmm. that one. And again, fed us <laughs> really well. Mm -hmm. um, and at that time, these Quilts of Valor people were there and presented us mm -hmm. with quilts. and. Mm -hmm. Um, they had uh, drawings, uh, they provided us, each, each hunter got a gift package with knives and sunglasses and cooler bags and just lots of stuff. And yeah. an emotional experience as I understand yes. it. Absolutely. Because they were all thanking you and saluting you. Right. And Absolutely, and, yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah. it's something that uh, somebody especially they feel very uh, uh, intense about their experience in the service. and and uh, would like to uh, experience something special uh, for a veteran, uh, this would be something they should consider. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, a trip of a lifetime. Well, we can't beat that. Can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the uh, um, people that uh, began the uh, process, I have it written down here, I want to give them some credit. Dan Kura, who was a graduate from OCS and a Vietnam veteran, and Colton Sasser, who was wounded in Afghanistan, both Wyoming natives, and when they came back, they, there was a quietness and they wanted to do something special for those veterans that have served and that were, were disabled. There's, there's one other gentleman whose name doesn't appear on their brochure that we dealt with out of Riverton, and his name is Dan Coyle, mm -hmm. and uh, he's a lifelong Wyoming resident and was organized our group. And well, and, and, and the hunting was on heavily on private property, although some was on public uh, property, so they had to get it was, a, it was a mix of private and, yeah. and public, yeah. Yeah. So everybody teamed in. Yeah. Absolutely. A whole That's, lot of people coordinating this to make it happen. Yeah. That's yep. awesome. So yeah. the most important thing you want people to know about this? It, it, it's it's a thrill of a lifetime, and uh, we would like more people to apply, and we will help them in any way we can to to set this up. The and and you've heard it here; they're willing to help. Nanette and I are trying to promote it for these uh, gentlemen, and so I want to thank uh, Gerald Babert and Dave Warnicke for uh, their service and the effort of you to provide help for the Wyoming people to be able to have more veterans to enjoy an experience of a lifetime. So until next time, this has been Legislative Update. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.